Hello, friends welcome to AI Medical School, in today's video we are going to discuss scabies, but before beginning the video, if you are still not subscribed to the channel, hit the red subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Let's get started. Scabies is caused by infection with the mite sarcops. The disease is characterized by paritic popular lesions and also burrows, which house the female mite and her young. Etiology and pathogenesis. Scabies is caused by the mite sarcops. The female mite is 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters long, and the fertilized female burrows into the skin of the host, laying its eggs in the base of the stratum corneum of the epidermis. The male dies after copulation, the female dies after laying the eggs. The eggs hatch into larvae in three to four days. The larvae are transformed into nymphs, and these in turn into adults. The female mite can survive only two to three days away from warm skin. It is acquired principally through close personal contact, but may be transmitted through clothing, linens, or towels. Transmission is by personal contact, but this does not have to be intimate, hand-holding is quite sufficient. Clinical Manifestations The rash of scabies is most often found on the hand, especially in the interdigital webs, and on the wrists. The classic burrows are seen as short linear or wavy papules. Multiple straighter S-shaped ridges or dotted lines, 5 to 20 millimeters long, that frequently resembles a black thread and end in a vesicle, represent the characteristic burrow, although this need not be present. Mites are also in papules and vesicles, the most common presenting lesions. Generalized urticarial papules, excoriations, and echematous changes are secondary lesions caused by sensitization to the mite. Indurated erythematous nodules are more common than discrete burrows and are slow to resolve after treatment. Secondary bacterial infections with furunculosis are common. Sites of involvement are chiefly the interdigital webs of the hands, wrists, antecubital fossae, points of the elbows, nipples, umbilicus, lower abdomen, buttocks, etc. Scabies is noted for severe itching, which becomes most marked shortly after the patients go to bed. A severe form of scabies termed Norwegian scabies is sometimes seen, especially in institutions for the mentally handicapped or in immunosuppressed persons. Widespread thickening and scaling of the skin are associated with myriad mites. Diagnosis and differential diagnosis. Alternatively, the diagnosis can be confirmed by scraping the burrow with a scalpel blade covered with mineral oil. Microscopic examination of the result will demonstrate mites and mite eggs. The disease should be differentiated from the diseases such as perigo, pruritus, pediculosis, papular urticaria and eczema. Treatment. One of the most effective scabicides is topical use of 1% of lindane only ones, but this must be used carefully because of potential neuroticity in young infants and in pregnancy. The disease can be treated with topical use of 5% to 10% of precipitated sulfur ointment ones, or twice for 3 to 4 days. It is important to reapply the lotion to the hands after each washing, and to treat the pruritus with a smoothing skin preparation. The pruritus may last for several days after adequate antidiabetic therapy. Ideally, persons in close contact with the patient, all sexual contacts, and all family members should be closely inspected and treated if they are affected. Thanks for watching guys, see you in my next video.